What's happening over there, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> People said they wanted more GoPro shots because it's helpful. And this is how I do it. Nice. Not gross at all. Here's what we're doing today, people. Three box mills mess, four box mills mess, and a whole bunch of drills to get you there. Grab three boxes, let's get started. Step one. Step one. Step one. Step one. The, the takeout take tumbling. The takeout tumbling. <laughs> Do a normal takeout, except give the outside box a half flip. Step two. You're going to start the same as step one by tumbling in the outside box, except this time I'm going to exchange my right hand box with this one under my arm. So watch that again. I'm going to tumble in like before, except I'll let my left hand drift across my body so that my right hand can switch it with that first box that I tumbled in. Okay, step three. Step two ended when you caught that right hand box in the center, right here. Except now what you're gonna do is your left hand that crossed over is gonna throw again and you're gonna come back. Step one, step two, and step three. Mills mess. Why? Why? Got all that? Grab your fourth box. It's time for four box mills mess. Now put it back. We're gonna do drills with three. Sorry. You wanna try it? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Get it out of your system. Was that fun? Did you like that? Awesome. Let's do some drills. First drill with four boxes. We're gonna do step two with three boxes, except the right hand is gonna catch the white box, palm up. Like that. Drill number two, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Catch it palm up in the right hand, but then push it out to the side. Catch palm up, push it out to the side, in preparation to catch that fourth box. Drill number three, same thing again, except this time, as you push it away, you're gonna spot upwards in anticipation of that fourth box. It looks like this. Okay, last three box drill before we get into four boxes. In the four box version, this right hand throws back to itself. So we're gonna practice that by doing a place on variation with three boxes. It looks like this. As the right hand makes that switch, I'm gonna unwind and place the green box on top of the other one to catch the white box. You can also start it from two in one hand. Weak. Let's grab our fourth box. Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Okay, four boxes. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna start by lifting your left elbow to throw the two green ones. Left hand reaches over and grabs the white box. Right hand box comes under and switches with this lower of the two green boxes. This one is now in the air flying overhead. These two swing around open to catch this one. Palm up to catch that last box. We're gonna go inside and I'm gonna open the computer and I'm gonna show you in slow motion what's going on because this rock is not a good system. Stone age teaching techniques. That was so bad. See you inside. I've got the three box version on the right, the four box version on the left, and I'm hoping that through these drills we'll have sort of a wax on wax off Miyagi technique and you'll see that this is preparing you for this. So frame by frame, here we go. The two start the same. You're gonna reach over and grab the most inside box, just like with three. You throw the underhand box, just like before, and all of this should feel pretty similar up until now, and then things get crazy. But, not that crazy. You take the lowermost box, the one you didn't throw high, you catch it in, and just like we practiced before, you push that stack out to the side, freeing up your hand to catch that last box. My first tip is about your legs and how you shift the weight. What's gonna happen is as I start, I'm gonna shift to my right, and then I'm gonna push them back to my left, and then finish in the center. So check this out, check out the weight distribution as I'm doing it. And that'll help you give a smooth push on those three boxes. Tip number two is to be efficient. So both in the left hand coming across and in the right hand throwing underneath. And this will allow you, when you trap that box in the center, to keep your head up to see the last box in your peripherals. If you're a little bit slower, you might lose sight of that top box because you have to drop your head to catch this box. So that looks like this. This is a common problem. And you're like, oh, I'm so close. Why isn't it working? Well, it's because you're having to come down and then go back up, which is a lot harder than keeping it all in your field of vision. Okay, my last tip is stupid. It's just practice throwing that right box back to itself so that that's not a problem because frequently you get the whole trick done only to find out you've thrown yourself a wing nut and that's frustrating. If you want to learn how to link a couple of these Mills messes together, go check out my diamonds and double diamonds tutorial because it's a lot of the same principles. Okay, I hope you had some success with this. Let me know in the comments if you did. And as always, thanks for watching. Have fun boxing.